Hi, this is John from Chicago. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a different quad, a different type of quad. It's the Helifar H803 with optical avoidance. It comes with a remote, but you don't need the remote to fly it. You just toss it in the air and it flies. And you use your hand to push it back. It sees a wall, it'll push back. It comes close to the ground. It'll go up. So you really don't need a remote to fly it. And you could just let it hover around the house. So this is uh, definitely different. Uh, I had to pick one up just to see what it was all about. For $20, it has, I believe, four sensors on all four corners. We just saw the tabletop, so it came down. We saw the wall, it came back. So it's a blast to play with. I think you get tired of it after um, a couple batteries. It does come with two batteries, and it has a remote. Let's see if I could. Uh, I haven't tried this yet. I'll turn the remote on. No. Okay. The remote has uh, synced in, so it's working. And you can, right now I have the uh, obstacle avoidance off. See the button on the front, you just push that, and now it has optical. Well, I think it would see the tabletop. There. Okay, now it sees it has optical avoidance on. So if you come close to something, yeah, so looks like there's a little flaw in it that I just noticed if it comes, hits at an angle at 45 degrees, uh, it misses the obstacle avoidance. Looks like it, it's at 90 degrees. It has a down button if it lands. So, uh, that was the quad. Very interesting. Okay. There's um, four optical center. Uh, sensors on the four corners there and then that's one on the bottom so there's five. Plug this in and use the remote a little bit and see how it flies. Flashes fast and once it's calibrated it flashes slow and it's ready to go. We turn the remote on on the switch on the bottom give it power or throttle up and down it's bound it has a barometer in it. Right now I don't have the optical sensors set. But let's just fly it around. This is the first rate. It's pretty real mild. That's as fast as it'll go. As fast as it leans on that first rate. It's pretty slow. But easy for a beginner to learn. Then we'll push this button so it clicks once, and now it's the second rate. It's faster. Okay, go up a little. And we'll try the third rate. Three beeps. Okay, that's like a normal quad right there. Not super high, but it's um, enjoyable. So once you learn how to do it, it has that third rate. The only thing that's a little different is it has all the tube hold on it all the time, so you're not controlling the height as good. It keeps a, a level, unless you push real far on the stick, and then it goes up. 
or down but if you leave it around the middle se setting it stays at a given altitude Okay, I'll push the, the um, sensor, proximity center sensor, is this button right there. Whoop. It beeped, so it's now set. Let's see what happens when we go toward the wall over here. There, it corrects itself. Uh, it comes back, it came next to me. Let's see here. Yeah. Oh, it came by the chair. It comes underneath, it'll shoot up. Uh oh. It's stuck on the ceiling. It came down. There's no um, sensor on the top. So it will hit the ceiling if it gets up close. toward the wall. Get a little forward. It goes back by itself. It's pretty cool. Set it down. Starts to blink slow.